The Lakers had one of their worst seasons in recent history as they missed out on even the play-ins. Riddled with injuries, some chemistry issues, and an aging roster meant that LeBron and company's season ended fairly early this time around. However, the rumor mill never stops, and a single comment can spark speculation that can get even the players excited about the next season. But first, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with a copy of NBA 2022 and Madden 22. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. First up, LeBron's wish to play with his son. Before we get to the main story, it's crucial to see if LeBron has any plans of changing teams after the disappointment this season with the Lakers. The King enjoyed a fantastic season, despite the injuries and an underwhelming finish for his side, and at 37 years of age, LeBron is still making history and remains an MVP-level player. Not to mention the profitability in terms of marketing, LeBron's an attractive option for most teams if he decides to leave the Lakers. In his HBO show The Shop, LeBron was questioned regarding his favorite choice to play with amongst the current crop of players in the league. Before he got to the spicy part, he explained his dream remains playing with his son, Bronny James. It would be an epic partnership, even if we get to see it for one season, as the father-son duo tries to leave a mark on the glorious history of the NBA. However, it won't be entirely possible for LeBron to get a team to sign his son. This isn't to say that Bronny James might be a bad player, he's the son of perhaps the greatest player to play the game. There's a good chance that he's got it in his genes, but it remains a risk and many teams might not be willing to take a punt on him. One team that might be a possibility is Oklahoma City Thunder, as they have a wealth of first and second round picks over the next five years. Given LeBron's influence, they might be happy to take a risk over Bronny, who by many is considered an overhyped prospect, but it could pay dividends if it works out. Most teams can't afford to do this, but OKC could be the best option for LeBron if he really wants to play with his son. Steph Curry's The One, LeBron James. When asked to choose a current player who he'd like to play with, LeBron picked Steph Curry and explained how he's the one. This is high praise coming from LeBron, considering the latter part of the 2010s was decided with their rivalry, and it was intense. But the fact that LeBron considers Steph Curry to be the ultimate partner showcases the mutual respect between the two, and also leaves the possibility for us to speculate. LeBron was full of praise for Steph, as he elaborated that you can only win if you guard him as soon as he gets out of his car. Everyone knows that Steph Curry can shoot three-pointers in his sleep, so LeBron said that it's probably better to guard him as soon as he gets out of bed. However, it also leaves the door open for rumors to take over. Could there be a possibility that we see LeBron and Steph on the same side? We've seen them play together for the All-Stars for a couple of years now, but if they're on the same NBA franchise, that would be completely crazy. It's highly unlikely, to say the least, although weirder things have happened in the NBA, and this wouldn't exactly be the shock of the century. LeBron's still an MVP-level player, but he's 37 now, and if he moves to a stronger side, it wouldn't be as much of a shocker as KD's move. How can it happen, though? It's impossible to see Steph leaving the Warriors, so if this kind of move was to materialize, it'd have to be LeBron going in the other direction. Again, it's highly unlikely to happen because the Warriors are trying to build a younger squad, so it wouldn't make sense to spend that much on LeBron for a couple of years. Now, let's look into Steph's reaction to LeBron's praise. If LeBron's statement opened the door for speculations, Steph's response bolted the door shut. At least, that's the way we see it. Chatting with 95.7 The Game, Steph Curry was told about LeBron's comments, and he mirrored the respect shown by LeBron. He called LeBron one of the greatest of all time. Fair enough, Steph, and mentioned that there's always a curiosity to imagine what it would be like to team up with a player of that caliber. He went on to say that something of that sort would be amazing. However, he was quick to tactfully deny any possibility of that happening in reality, though. Steph commented on the statement that we can live in such fantasy worlds. That's somewhat underwhelming. Not sure if LeBron would be happy with that. Going on to suggest that LeBron got his wish, indicating to the All-Stars when he picked Steph for the last two games. But he did tease the fans and the analysts by saying that he wasn't sure if that was enough, but he was good right now. That seems like a polite way of declining an invitation, and we can't really blame Steph, can we? While it would be an insane opportunity to see the two team up and make history, there are a lot of factors to consider. Realistically, such a move makes no sense, especially not for the Warriors or even Steph. Steph has his legacy and wouldn't want to tarnish it or even put under doubt as people questions KD's. The mutual respect between Steph and LeBron has always been there, but the rivalry, even though it might not be raring anymore, is still a crucial point and probably the reason why the move won't happen. Plus, the Warriors and Steph could be somewhat wary of LeBron's influence, particularly after that horror show of a season. Next, LeBron's admiration of Doncic. Steph Curry wasn't the only one getting the love from LeBron in that interview. When quizzed about the players currently in the division, 
division who LeBron would love to team up with, he was spoiled for choices. Of course, there are so many world-class players to choose from, and even though it was an interview purely for fun, it still gives us an insight as to the players LeBron really rates, and probably at the same time, hates playing against, because that's probably who you'd like in your team. You can't just pick one, of course, especially when Giannis, Doncic, Steph, Embiid, etc. are running riot, week in and week out. So, when talking about the current MVP favorites and players that would make for a great partner, LeBron also mentioned Luka Doncic. This is hardly surprising, as Doncic has been the best player in the division for two years now, and leads the race for MVP this year as well. LeBron mentioned that he admires Doncic a lot, and to be fair, he's not the only one who likes Doncic. But Doncic's domination of the league just makes us think of a possibility where LeBron Doncic could team up. Insane. We've seen the duo play together for the All-Stars, and Doncic is always LeBron's pick, but an extended partnership could be unreal, to say the least. More than that, LeBron really likes Doncic, and this interview wasn't the first time he revealed this admiration. Doncic's domination reminds us of the time when LeBron was running the league for fun, and that's probably what LeBron sees too. He also tried to recruit Doncic for his Nike brand a few years back, and while that didn't work out and Doncic opted for Jordan, it still offers an indication of just how much LeBron rates the Slovenian. I love Scottie Pippen, bro. LeBron on his all-time favorites. In the same interview, LeBron was asked about his all-time favorite player to play with. It wasn't surprising that LeBron mentioned Scottie Pippen, saying that he was probably his main pick for teaming up. LeBron mentioned MJ, obviously, who wouldn't, and said that he was crazy. He also went on to name Kobe Bryant, saying that he would have been another one. Yes, sir. Now that's a dream team we would have loved to see. However, his ultimate favorite pick was Scottie Pippen, and also Penny Hardaway. We can see why LeBron likes the two, because he probably sees a bit of himself in them. While LeBron changed the game, Scottie and Penny Hardaway were an absolute menace in their time, too. LeBron pointed out that they were getting everyone involved and could defend all sorts of positions. The height advantage and being able to score, it's almost like he's talking about himself. Scottie Pippen's one of the most underrated players in NBA history, and it's nice to see that LeBron went for a suitable partner who would have complimented him in every war, rather than just picking the biggest name. Of course, someone like Kobe or MJ pairing with LeBron would have presented a different kind of partnership that would be just as lethal, if not more. Fans tend to favor the biggest names, and why shouldn't they? But Scotty isn't a small name either by any stretch of the imagination. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have anything to say about a potential LeBron-Steph pairing? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.